Vinny Van Halen here, telling you, I, keep no, playing, man. Dude. Gotta keep playing. It's the, it's the only thing there is. Music, man. Keep playing. All right? I'm gonna come looking for you if you don't. <laughs>
trim Thursday and tonight it is April 11th, 2024 at 8 16 PM. And we are ready to go. Some trans trim riffs, little trans trim, little widdly widdly there in that little intro. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Anybody new to the channel, welcome in. Like to welcome you and just kind of let you know what is going on. Trans trim Thursday. You may not know what that is. Well, I will show you. Trans Trim Thursday. This is a Trans Trim Tremolo system on a Steinberger guitar. And what it does is it transposes in different keys and stretches and loosens the strings all in pitch with one another. And we just think that that's one of the coolest things. So we have a show <laughs> where we come on and we talk about it, we play it, we do some other jams. But, uh, Kind of listen to it through those little tracks there and you could kind of hear what's going on. Let me show you here. That's one of the coolest things ever invented for a guitar. So here we are. Trans Trim Thursday. Let's get going. Going to get some boys in here, and we're going to have some jam sessions. So let's see who we got. Somebody's that, probably out there ringing the bell. Yep, there's one. Let's see. We have Mr. Symmetry Tread. And uh, for some reason, he's not popping up. I don't know what's going on there. Yep, we can hear you. You must have changed me to like a solo layout or something. Let's see. Oh, I did. There we go. Let's get that. <laughs> there hey, go. There we cheers, go. everybody. Executive producer just messing everything up. Welcome in, sir. Cheers, buddy. That was a damn cool, damn cool example of a trans trammability. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I enjoy playing it. So here we are. <laughs> we do. Cheers. I've got some uh, freshly squeezed uh, apple juice. Uh, this, is, this is this is that all this is that all natural stuff, so it's a little darker than normal, but uh Cheers, everybody. Oh, obviously in the official OU812 pint glass. Be sure to check that out in the OU812 store. Get you one. <laughs> Night bot, that's your cue. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's happening, Trev? You been doing good? Yeah, you know, same old same. Just getting through the work week. Been a pretty well-behaved citizen since the weekend. So uh, right. Thursday's kind of the tailgate party for the big game coming up on the weekend. It's always a great way to rock into the weekend. Transfer. Right on. Right on. You've been getting a little more sleep this past weekend since you weren't hanging out over on the LC uh, channel. Right. <laughs> <on the weekend>. right. <laughs> Bloody Australia times kill. Right. Man. Yeah. It's like uh for me it's 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 twelve hours exactly. So eight nineteen PM, I believe it's eight nineteen AM over there. So that's uh yeah. that's, that's, that's some, like that. some some crazy hours. But uh anyway. Let's see who else we got hanging out. We have Mr. John Shane. What's up? What's up? Yeah. What's a happening, sir? Whirlwind, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just finished things up, and I just sat oh, down. And, well, well, he, obviously, I wasn't here in the tune-up room. <laughs> right. I'm still wrapping things up, but good. <laughs> yeah, everything's okay. Well, welcome in, buddy. Thank you. Still a little cool up there in the Canadian way. Got your, is it your, uh, is that the zip? That's the OU812 zip up. Keeping you warm. It right is. on. Which is also available in the OU812 store. Make sure you check that out. <laughs> well, welcome in, buddy. You got the Thanks, sewer man. ready to go? Ready to jam? I do. I right do. on. Excellent day. All right. So I think we've got somebody else. He's ringing the bell. He, it's a little dark out there. I don't know what's going on. On location. On the front. <laughs> <Intrepid> recorder. <laughs> yep. From his, uh, 19 Secret bunker what is that 1999 uh flip, flip phone that he's got 1999 we've got mr randy r5 welcome yeah. Yeah. Uh, right? yeah. Holy Christ. Yeah. so it looks like you are uh, streaming from candlelight what is going on man i have no power well that's no good you got yeah. an acoustic guitar maybe play an acoustic <laughs> I do not. Oh, bummer. So what is the outlook for that? You had some storms roll through there and knock things out? What's going on? 
I guess it's the wind. We've been under a wind advisory all day. Got some nice 35, 40 mile an hour gusts. And right. uh, I live in the woods, so trees fall down out here all the time. Well, that is unfortunate, sir. Any um, outlook for uh, for getting back up and online? Uh, the Georgia Power is saying around 840, 845. But, 840, 845. Well, that's just a few minutes. Right. So. Well, that's just the power. Right. I got the text from Comcast about mm, 730 saying we're aware of an outage in your area. So Right. So you who's going to fix don't, their end quicker? Right. Don't expect yeah, yeah. anything anytime soon. Well, you know, in 45 minutes time, you could drunk, you know, jump in your truck throw your little amp in it and be over here at the studio <laughs> <laughs> you know so you know there's there's ways around it i mean we we can we can help you how out. dedicated to the channel are you there randy well he's here i'll give him that <laughs> right better than our better than our two so What's do you say? do you still have that little thing that you purchased the other day did you want to get into that tonight or yeah i still have it did you want to talk about it did you want to express your feelings about it um, we can. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Let's, let's let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we'll talk about it now. All right. Well, well let's whenever do the, the channel members and the roll call, and then we'll get into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So let's do that. Thank you, Trev. Thank you for reminding me. The so, do not have an acoustic here. <laughs> Big shout out to all of our channel members we do have channel membership available on the channel join button over there underneath the video big huge shout out to all of our channel members all of our supporters we appreciate you more than you know helps us to continue doing what we're doing and uh, if you'd like to help contribute and help keep us afloat we appreciate the channel membership we are filling it up we've got still one straggler on the third third screen here mr gretch step on he needs some neighbors he needs some company there, so let's get uh, let's get some more channel members tonight. How about that? Now we appreciate each and every one of you. Speaking of our channel members, let's see who we have in the chat. We're going to give a shout out to everybody over there. Let me scroll up to the top here. First that I see is channel member Rob of Blackmore Official from day one. Mr. Rob Blackmore Official has been supporting the channel. Rock on, Rob. We appreciate you. Let's see. There is a channel member. Delmar J is here. What's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Thank good evening. OU812. Welcome in, man. Um, Elbar J, why don't we try for tomorrow, tomorrow night at some point? Let's see if we can get idea. you get you in and get you sorted with we've your... Been, uh, we've been emailing back and forth. Okay. So I, I went through everything with the fractal and, and with the roadcaster. Okay. So I've got him to the point where he seems to, everything's working well. We just got to get him to sum his channels to stereo. Okay. Single, All right. All right. I think I think he's there. Very good. So maybe we'll see uh, Mr. Elmar J on the uh, Sunday Community Jam. We've got Mitch Heyman is here hanging out with us. Welcome in, Mitch. Always good to see you. There's Mr. Mick following right behind saying, what's up? We have a uh, channel member and moderator, Mr. Quentin James, is here. He's got that wrench, so be careful. <laughs> he might hit you on the head with it. Right. We also have uh, symmetries there in the chat. I think I know that guy. Lord. We've got a uh, channel member, Patty Dill, is here Patty saying hello. Oh, you at one, two. Then she's saying hello to Mr. Mick. Symmetry. Right on. Right on. Welcome in, Patty. Also one of the biggest supporters of the channel from the get-go. We appreciate you, Patty. We also have channel member Andrew Knox is hanging out with us. Welcome in, Andrew. Always good to see you. I'll, I still think that was cool, cool, cool that you were wearing the OU Crew shirt over on the Joe Wentz TV show. Yeah, for sure. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. Let's see. We have channel member a Greasy a Monkey a Guitars. There can be none more greasy. None whatsoever. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. We've also got hanging out. The Lawnmower Tapes is here. Always love the opening jams. Right on, man. I appreciate that. Let's see. There's Mr. Mick again. There's channel member Bryce Regal. That shirt. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Wooka, wooka, wooka. 
We'll uh, we'll explain that in just in just a minute. <laughs> Has something to do with this guy right here. <laughs> Let's see who else is hanging out with us. We've got uh, Josh Tanberger's here. Welcome. Hey, Good to see you. Time. Let's see who else. We've got channel member Hip Metalworks is hanging Hello. out. Good to see you, sir. As always. Let's see. We got McCollum Music is here saying hey hey, everyone welcome in welcome in there's more coming on that too i actually okay all right we've got mike g is here mike g have we seen mike g here before that's looking like a new name looking like a new mike welcome in good to see you hope you stick around come back and see us let's see we've got channel member stephen franklin is here also one of the ones, one of the OGs, Stephen Franklin. Welcome in, sir. Good to see you. We've got channel member Alonzo Guardian hanging out. Good to see you, sir. Channel member Jimmy Bider was a Jimmy, you want to jump in tonight? Just shoot me an email, man. We're, we're running a little ragged with R5 here. <laughs> so. and are, are you notice uh, Thursday since uh, Randy got here, did Al just fuck it? Yeah, I was just like, yeah. yeah <laughs> Fuck them guys. Yeah. And then he comes in on Sunday and tears everybody's head. Yeah. Off, so. Let's see. There's Mitch Heyman saying hello to everyone. Welcome in, sir. There's the axe hanging out. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Stephen Franklin is talking about a guitar here. Let's see what he's got. I uh, got the Bumblebee Wolfgang, but returned it. I wasn't happy. It had neck issues. Got another one on the way. First issue with a Wolfgang. The uh, quality control on them. I'm thinking, you know, the exception to proof the rule. A little hit and miss here and there, but you know, you're going to have that from time to time. So sorry to hear about that, Mr. Franklin. Glad you got another one headed your way. Let's see. The axe says, nice looking axe, Ryan. Thank you. Mitch says, what would the price of that guitar go for? Um. $15 billion. This particular guitar with the wear that's on it, if I were to sell it, I would probably, I don't know, $3,800, something like that. I don't know. Pretty reasonable. They're, um, I don't know, they're getting more and more rare to find them, so the, the value of them still keeps going up. But um, four grand or so, wow. something like that. But it's it's uh it's not for sale. So <laughs> let's see. We've we've got the nice elevator background music. We going just pause on. for one second. I just interject for one second because it looks like he's got a split. Okay, all day, all, day, all, day. all night. Member for eight months. <laughs> dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Appreciate you, Mister All Day All Night. Good man. Get your we'll stuff together, later. Randy. <laughs> Right, let's see. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, we'll Please scroll down. down. The X says he has freshly squeezed rye and coke. Okay. Well. You know what? Damn, that sounds good. That'll be next. <laughs> Isn't it beer before liquor? You've never been sicker. I, I actually looked that up. It, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just an old myth. Wives I tale. So. Uh, yes, Quentin. It is surprisingly tasty. Um, it's funny. This apple juice kind of tastes a little bit like you know Guinness a little bit. Hmm. Delicious. It's strange. Do Maybe they have the apple, apple for a little bit uh, fermented? Do they have apples in Guinness? I don't know. Let's see. Who else we got? Oh, uh, we got the axe, right? Welcome. Yep, in. we got the axe. We've got channel member Guitar Man Forty Five Bo. Hey, brother. Saying hello to everyone. Welcome in, Bo. Good to see you. McCollum Music, the wind is crazy right now in Dallas, Georgia. You're local boy, huh? Well, welcome on in. McCollum Music, you got a uh, a music outlet over there somewhere? Come visit. He, he's from the Ben Coombs channel. He's, he's in the Water Buffalo meeting. Okay, all right. Real cool fella, real cool fella. He's got lots of guitars. That are, he's one of those guys that tunes way down. Okay. Like way, way down. Like way, way bone, bone metal, jams down, huh? Stuff, stories. He's been there, done that. Yeah, great. Cool. Cool, cool. Nobody's lower than Boner. There can be none lower. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me, let me get this. There can be none lower. <laughs> All right, who else we got? Uh, there's Mr. Christopher Live. So welcome in, sir. Always a pleasure to see you hanging out with us. 
Let's see. There's channel member Ed watching the Celtics. I'm late. What did I miss? Just the whole 15 minute jam to start, man. You know, you got to get it together, sir. Basketball. Come on. Isn't that the Celtics, right? Basketball team. Let's see. Who else is here? Who else is here? Oh, look at there. McCollum Music. Right on. Right Thank on. you for supporting the channel. McCollum Music has become a YouTube member. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Take a Very break. awesome. In the, the Discord and the members and stuff. What's that? The Discord. We're going to try and make better effort, try and get on Discord. Yeah. You know, with yeah, channel yeah. members and stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We'll have uh, we'll have some more information about that probably a little later later in the week. Uh, let's see who else is here. Let's see, we got Patty. We're gonna say hey to her again. Uh, there's Papa Blue hanging out. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's see. Then we did get all Dave all night. Patty says, "Did you like the chocolate covered nuts?" I did, Patty. I did. Cashews are my favorite nut. And when you put chocolate on top of them, that just makes it even better. So thank you. Those were gone like the next day. They were really, really good. So thank you. Let's see. William De Silva's hanging out. Welcome in. Welcome in. There's Kurt5150, a channel member. Transform Thursday. Has anyone seen Randy's Les Paul? I think it's an Epiphone. <laughs> I saw that post of Quentin's. He, oh, he had to run get it now. <laughs> Quentin posted a picture of the the body of his Les Paul and then an Epiphone head. Get the f*** out of here. Right? Right? Let's see. Did we get William De Silva? We're going to get him again if we didn't. Welcome in. Welcome in. Who else is here? Uh, I think I got Bryce already. I did. Mr. Mick, I've got Patrick Trites, channel member. Good day, eh? Oh, you hey, crew. Buddy. Welcome in, Patrick. There's channel member Jimmy Ray Hawkins saying hello to chat. I'll be watching and doing some other things. Have a great show as always. Thanks for jumping in and saying hello, Jimmy. Always good to see you, sir. Here's Edwin Crane watching Conan like the bomb sauce uh, yeah. off a hot wing. What? That was awesome. Did you see that, Trev? No. What oh, was yeah. this about? What an animal. An absolute yeah, animal. I thought for sure he was going to go down and be an Irish and all that. Eh? Oh, oh, Conan, good. not Conan. <laughs> Yeah. Thought, oh, he's watching, he's good. thought he was watching the old Conan Barbarian movie. <laughs> Anybody right check out uh, Quentin's overdubbing? <laughs> His yeah, voiceover awesome. work? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I laughed a little too hard at that, Quentin. I don't know why, but yeah. that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's see who else is hanging out. Uh, there's Bonkers. Bonkers. Welcome in. Welcome in. Channel member. And our favorite fireman, Mr. Andy Carson. Welcome in, sir. Saying good greetings to the good people of Trans Tremienton Fieldville. And there's a red door for the entrance there. All right. I think we got everybody. We are, so we are good to go. 28 minutes, 22 seconds. Hey, we're good. We're getting good at this stuff, right? right? It's almost yep. like we've done it a few times. So, so John. Yes, sir. I want to hear a little bit more about your fractal in just a few minutes, but before we do that, <laughs> yes, let's get to Mr. Randy here because yes, myself and Randy, you know, we are curious, can we do something that's a little more affordable other than the fractal to get guitar tones in? Mm -hmm. And so Randy started things off and the answer he, is uh, yes. You can. <laughs> well, you can, but does it sound any good so randy would you like to tell the folks what you did and where you're going with it so <laughs> i want one of the uh line requesting sticks. isolation Pod <laughs> express right. really full screen right. buddy full screen i'll get rid of all of us just run big <laughs> And uh, no, Sova, I'm not in a Bronco. I'm in an F-150. And yes, uh, who was it? Uh, I think it was Patrick Trites. Yes, the power is out, which is why I'm not in the usual spot. Um, so anyway, yeah, I bought a, uh, what's that thing called? The Pot Express. Mm-hmm. 
That's, and, that's one that Quentin has had his eye on for a while. Well, Quentin might be able to get this one. Um, <laughs> so I, I got it two dayed because they're only like a, they're under two hundred bucks or what one hundred eighty bucks. Mm-hmm. So I bought one because they're on reverb because they're pretty much sold out everywhere and um, got it Monday and played around with it for what would you say probably forty five minutes to an hour. Yeah, something like that. And I don't know where everybody's getting this whole doing these videos of how great this thing sounds. They must be doing a lot of post processing in their mm-hmm. videos and their um, their uh, YouTube shorts and all that stuff because uh, nothing I hooked up with it sounded good. Mm-hmm. And you know, you went straight into the roadcaster, so. Yep. You know, I mean, it's it's got a pristine entry into the computer. Stereo. But, stereo yeah. into the roadcaster. Yep. Yeah, yep. And, you know, I'm not using, you know, $20 dollar store headphones either. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I mean, I don't really... I feel like the way they have done the layout with the knobs is backwards. You know, to adjust your EQ, you have to hold the alt button at the same time you turn your whichever parameter you're wanting to adjust. I feel like that should be the other way around. You hold the alt button to change your effects. Um, but none of the gain, the higher gain amps or the dirty amps even, they've got a couple, just they're just crunch. None of them did, sounded good. The clean did, ones didn't really sound that great. Did you take any time and see if that you could hook it up USB and if there was any kind of editor that you could move stuff around or there do anything? There's no with? editor for that yet. <clears throat> okay. So, so yeah, I jumped on when Randy was playing this thing on a, you know, private stream yard. And I don't, you know, it, it just, I, I don't know how to describe it. It just sounded like crap to me. <laughs> yeah. But you go to YouTube and you you watch these guys and like you said, I bet they're putting some kind of mojo on it on it or something. I don't know. You know, Ola put his short up with it today because Ola actually bought one. Mm-hmm. Um, he did it on. Uh, he does that little segment on some of his Sunday shows where he'll, he will actually just buy a new piece of gear from like Tomons. Mm-hmm. So he bought one and he did a little short. And the way it's portrayed in his short, he just plugged it in and it's running into his interface. And it was like, wham, sounds great. Yeah. 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 Um, well, we, did, my, we did that same thing and it sounded like crap. Right. And, you know, I'll, I will hold my judgment on that until his full video comes out on it. Mm-hmm. Because if he does any kind of post processing or anything like that, he's normally upfront and honest about it. You know, hey, uh, it sounded okay, but I had to go in and do this, 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 and this. Right, right, right. You know. Yep. So, but, you know, you know how it is in YouTube land. A lot of those guys that, you know, that's one thing I will say about Ola is 99% of the time his stuff is is not a paid promotion. Mm -hmm. It's actually Mm -hmm. straight away from that. So, Randy, you going to hang on to it until after that review then? Yeah, I've still got it. I've got 30 days to return it. Um, but, you know, the thing is, as I gave it to Walla Cries, mm-hmm. and who can, you know, he's he's still learning guitar. You know, he can play some chords and stuff. I feel you know, that. Good enough to kind of, you know, work, you know, play some power chords through, you know. Mm-hmm. And he plugged his headphones in it and tried playing it through it, you know, with just headphones up to it. And even he was like, dude, this sounds terrible. <laughs> right yeah so, so even through headphones yep so a quick shout out to channel member boner jams welcome in sir we also have bastard. uh right behind him was nelson rodriguez channel member right. welcome in welcome in and i think i saw one more one more who was it there it is channel member rich zeppelin welcome no in, longer alone in. on the last page let's see did we get nelson yeah he's yep. he's alive and well so so anyway, um, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with it. You weren't too impressed with it. And, no, uh, but I think I a lot of a lot of those guys when they're doing their videos, I think they're running it into their DAW with mm-hmm. their own IRs that they tend to use. 
Right. Yeah, and yeah. that right there will make <clears throat> all the difference in the world. Yeah, 100%. So as 100%. far as just getting a box, plugging it in, and just being done, that's probably not the solution. Not not, not in my opinion. No. Nope. Not yet. Not in mine either. <laughs> so everybody knows that I went <clears throat> and I tried the uh, the Gigcaster. Right. The, uh, the Boss Gigcaster. Everybody knows I took that back. Because I couldn't get a good guitar sound out of it for, you know, to please my ears. Mm -hmm. uh, so yesterday I went to Guitar Center <clears throat> and I was seeing all these YouTube videos on the HX Stomp from Line 6, which is a little bit bigger unit. You know, it's, it says it's got all the stuff from the Helix in it, just kind of scrunched down, a little less horsepower, and mm -hmm. you can only do a certain number of blocks. Uh, that lasted probably a good hour and a half that I tried messing with that thing. <laughs> it, it's already returned. Returned it today. So that leads me to John. Yes. It's looking like your uh, your fractal, which is what you're playing right now, yes. is probably going to be the answer. How much learning and, um, I guess, learning curve does that thing have to get a good sound like you've got right now. The really cool thing what? is. The really cool thing is. Let me uh, see if I can move your mic closer, John. That's my next thing. I've decided that I need what you guys have now. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. How about your old one? Hot Express. Yeah, that too. The old SM7B. Yeah, yeah. Now, isn't there a 7DB now? What's the difference on that? Uh, 7V, I think. I don't know. I DB. Is, it could be. Could be. I, I don't know. I think... I, I, I was you, like, the old B sign, right? DB. I think you can use it with a um, a USB or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so this is this is the sound that I have now, right? This is a clean sound? Yep. So, if you see down here... Oh, fuck off with that reverb. We can't um, see your, your pointer. How did we do? Oh, here. There we go. Oh, there it is. Right. So these are the scenes within it. It's all based right. on a 5153 okay. Van, Halen, Van Halen amp, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So plug your guitar in. Mm -hmm. It goes through. It's just still, just like a pedal board. You, well, you know, pedal uh, amp, cab. There's your harmonizer. Mm -hmm. Delay, reverb, out. It's that simple. Okay. Um. The, the, it's got something like two or 300 presets, but for you to build one, this mm -hmm. is, you, you need the editor. I mean, you can right. do it on, on this thing, but I'll show you how easy it is. You go in here and there's your amp, right? Mm -hmm. So you can go here and you can select all those different apps. Okay. All right. right? Yeah, yeah. And they're all good. Mm -hmm. They might not be to taste or whatever it is. They're all good. Cabs, same thing, right? This is a Dyna cab, so it's you can move your you do your placement and all the rest. Mm -hmm. So it's a dynamic IR, basically, right. right? Not a big deal. And then you've got a, a library of cabs that you can go through. I've got it limited to down because there's like a hundred of them, right? It's mm -hmm. too much. But going back to the amp, you get your amp. This is your basic tone stack, right? Bass, middle, treb. Mm-hmm. Presence, master, volume, gain, and ninety-nine percent of the time you can get a great, great sound out of it, just right. like that. Yeah, yeah. So, at its base, that's what it is. It's it's that simple. Mm -hmm. yep. And you just move things around and all the rest, and it it can go super deep, right? So I'm sure that you can take and you can run like your pitch and your delay in parallel with each other. Absolutely. Of series. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, and doing that is as simple is pulling your pitch block up okay up like this here okay and all right connecting it here yeah so it's actually a simulated fuck off you bastard <laughs> sorry what did that take uh 40 minutes in before we got the first so okay. that's that's you, you, it looks like a wet dry wet and that's what it is second mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right and then you can you can go to the pitch block and you can set Input gains 100%. So it's just 100% wet, right? Right. How yeah, it yeah. all goes through. Yeah. So, 
And it works great. But the thing, the thing that I've noticed with this is it's not, it, it's not a one for one. Like we, there's no real reason to do this, mm -hmm. to do parallel maybe mm -hmm. with, but I mean, it's, it's easy though, right? Yeah. 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 Now, did you ever have any time with this where you like pulled up a preset and said, man, it sounds terrible. Uh, yeah, there's some in there that I don't yeah. like at all. Like there's some super heavy ones that are just okay. But it's not it's not like a big huge hassle to get a decent sound out of the thing. Well, if we've got time and we want to have time, we got all night, man. I don't got nothing so, to do. There's a basement, right? Mm hmm. That's flat factory preset. <laughs> Okay. Sounds sounds like a basement. It actually sounds like an amp. That's right. Yeah. And that's doing nothing, just switching through this. And then you have jumped, lead, you can go through okay. all of it and then All right. Well, I, th I one, think I think that's one. This, yeah. Yeah. I think that you sold me on it. So Let's see. We got some stuff going on in the chat here. Yep. Uh, let's see. Mitch says the Boss Katana Go, which competes with the Line 6 Pod Express. I wonder if that would be better. <laughs> I think that's you know like what it really is. Brian still got a bad taste from Boston. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's something to be said for, like when I set out on this, what do I want? I don't want to capture amps. I don't want to mm -hmm. do. Lars uh, says by the FM nine. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, if you've got the, if you if you're going, yeah, do it. I I bought the FM three number one because I was the first guinea pig with this, so. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to put out two grand if it was right. yep. going to be shit. Yep. And for space, the way I've got my desk set up and everything. Yep. Yep. But well, I think the know, I think bang the, for your buck is the FM9 if you want. But, I mean, we've got, you've heard all the crazy shit this thing does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't need any more horsepower, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, mine would only be for sitting over there on that desk for a, yeah. you know, a guest to yeah, come in and play guitar. Is perfect, so I think the three would, would be just fine. Oh, uh, let's see. Kurt, 5150. $5 Super Chat says, if I have $5. any tech questions or audio issues, I call at Quentin James. His price is decent. <laughs> All he asks for is favors, right? So appreciate that, Kurt. Let's see. William says, you got to make sure you're not doubling up on speaker or power sections on it. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, just me, but I have not been able to get a good sound out of any of the Line 6 stuff. And I did my research. I, I really did. And this was, you know, if I wanted to do captures and have mm -hmm. something super portable, right? then you look at something like a Quad Cortex. Quad Cortex. But again, but, it doesn't have the editor. Well, it does now, but it's shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And again, they're not focused on superior sound quality, which is the most important thing for me. Yeah. And this thing feels good. That's right. the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the feel under their fingers. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, Alonso, it looks like from all those blocks that he had, you could actually run probably a straight wet or dry signal and then have wet on either side. Does, yeah. the, the, does the fractal have a uh, a loop where you can send a dry signal on, to something else? Hang on, two else? seconds. I think I'm in business. Give me like oh. five minutes. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. I'll be back in a few. All right, five, everybody. So <laughs> does it have like a send on it that you can actually send a signal out? Physically like, or digitally? No, physically, a, a, a send output on it. It's got two. Okay. That's how I'm running into this to, to the roadcaster. Well, right? no, you've got, you've got left and right output, right? Yes. Is there any other kind of insert loop? Or something like that. Oh, yeah, the effects loop in the... Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, where you yeah, can actually yeah, yeah. send a dry signal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. So, yeah, you technically could run your send, which yep. is a dry signal, to one channel of the roadcaster, and then sit, set the parallel stuff to 100% wet and do basically what I'm doing right there. So yeah. I think I'm going to have one of those in my future, and I'm going to explore... Yeah, and uh, yeah, the thing is, you got two weeks with it, right? 
Right. And as long as you don't let it sit on the sit on the shelf for a week and a half. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was of course you get that when something sounds good, you kind of get that, oh yeah, yeah, this is good. But I played it hard for 4 or 5 days and it was like, okay, right. it's not it's not that, it'll never be that. But Thank you, Boner. It's perfect. It's perfect That's for what we do yeah. here. Right. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, f- hearing hearing your stuff f- coming through there and it's just plugged into the roadcaster like I want to do that's what I want something yep. that sounds like that you know yep. it's not perfect you know yep. but it does sound way better than anything I've heard and it so. feels too I mean that's the big thing too <laughs> Kurt says uh at boner you your wet dry chafed is your setting right <laughs> especially after that that back shaver that he uses on his grundle area mm. little tweak into the preset says Lars guitars Let's see. Did we say hey to Zach Thong? Seeing Zach Thong there. Good Welcome bro. in, sir. Yeah, Lars Lars brings up a good point with that because... What, that the fractal is better than line six? <laughs> no, no. About tweaking the presets, right? Because these are kind of an average preset, and they mm-hmm. are meant to, to be tweaked. So my guitar with low output pickups aren't gonna is not going to sound with your Wolfgang pickups, right? Right. Yeah, so yeah. It's, just like an amp you turn turn knobs until it sounds good right we've got uh, hang on sables music videos i came in and i hear this thing feels good lol hello all (laughs) we got a new sub there welcome in awesome appreciate you joining in i hope you enjoy what you see yeah and uh come back and see us boner jam says the wet dry wet setup is in a gentleman's club is encouraged (laughs) so what's the dry uh, him <laughs> Quentin says sounds like the FM3 is perfect for what I do yeah it is yep it really is yeah for sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna be checking one out let's see Lars says uh, the FM9 has three outputs one can be dedicated a direct out there you go yeah so Lars I, I I I'm assuming that the FM3 does it I, maybe it doesn't then yeah no telling and if it doesn't, I mean, that's not the end of the world. It's just for a guest over there. It's not my yeah. rig. <laughs> just, Let's yeah. see. Well, you've got it super convenient, too, right? I just yeah. know for me, it's literally pick up a guitar and walk over, push up my fader, and, and I'm playing. And go. So my studio yeah. mounters, right? So I'm yeah. getting whole. Yep. Uh, see, LRJ says, for me, I use the factory presets and scenes and just tweak them to taste, and you are good like an amp. Yep. Right on. That's pretty much what I... I've gone a little further. Some of the guys, uh, like Leon, I've got a couple of his presets that I, mm-hmm. you know, and I tweak those. And that John Nathan Cordy, I, I have quite a few of his I quite like. Yeah. Elbar J says, I have an old unit. Let me know if you want info. You don't want to know. Like an, an older XFX? FM2? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was an there was an F eight or something like that, I believe, and then all yes, the rack, yeah, rack yeah, stuff yeah. That's for that. So, so, and it's all a right. real exciting time. Uh, the other thing with this is there's tons of help everywhere. There's dedicated forums and all that crap, right? Yeah, yeah. And of course, there's a new firmware version coming out, which is going to add yep. seamless switching it and all. Sounds those great. Other and if it feels shit. good, I mean, if you turn that shit up loud, like Metallica concert loud. <laughs> Yep. It's going to feel good too, right? And you're just going to, and, and it's consistent, no matter what your humidity is, what climate you're in, what, I mean, mm-hmm. it's always going to work. It just works. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to try one out. Thing. Jimmy Bider. <laughs> says, would love to jump in tonight, but unfortunately, I'm un- unable to. I did get a new X Trident to try out for my second rig. Right on, man. Well, we definitely will be anxious to hear that. how that sounds. Yeah. So knowing Jimmy Biter, it'll be like, <laughs> blow our ears off. He's got it figured out now. He knows to go make his test wheels. Right? You just record mm-hmm. the shit. Here. You don't have to broadcast it. And yep. You can go back and yep. look how it sounds. Thank you, Jimmy, for that super chat. Much, much appreciated. Well, hopefully Randy will be situated here in just a bit. <laughs> I think that I'm a little spoiled. 
Because I want to plug something in, plug my guitar into it. John is so much spoiled too. I mean, I want to have it sound like that, you know, with that Friedman cranked up and those three cabs rocking in that room. Right. It sounds like there's cabs in every corner. It's ridiculous, and you can go sit in the living room and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, a crisis here. What have I missed? Absolutely nothing. Good news. That means Randy's coming. It means Randy should be uh, getting things ready to go. So. Yeah, the uh, the uh, the um, fractal stuff, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, well, that's double the price of this HX stomp. Uh, so let me see if that'll do any good. And I just got fed up with it too quick. I want to plug something in, hook it up, plug a guitar into it, something to sound good and, do some and have it sound like it's supposed to sound, you know, without me going in and having to tweak all kinds of different stuff. I don't have well, the patience the for all that. The buys your return. Uh, boss one that's already are, already updated already <laughs> it's made good as good go. as it can be good to go so well the thing is too is we're we're I think mentioned before we're kind of the dying breed I mean, we're used to big 100 watt amps mm-hmm. feeling it and there's once you have that it's a fucking box really come on mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yep yeah yep ladies and gentlemen we have the real Randy R5 Price. Right on. That's that's. You should probably just play a track now. I think. Welcome in, sir. All right. This is should, more like it. Should we should we play our track? Let's do it. Oh, let, let me catch let me catch up on the chat oh. here for just a yep, bit. Yep. Elmore J says it was an AX8. I don't think that would work. Yeah, I'm kind of a snob with that stuff too. If I want something like that, I want new new. <laughs> So, especially you know, something that's closing. quote unquote disposable right 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 yeah, yeah yeah uh let's see alonzo says have you ever cranked that rig up to 10 if you have how does it feel i would be afraid to crank it up to 10 i have cranked it up quite a bit yep. and i can night. stand i can stand on the other side of the room and i can feel the air hitting yeah. me it that is just freaking night. phenomenal i'm about to say dude those 5150s are loud as hell on two mm-hmm. yeah yeah where did you and get that, that night when we were sitting up and, and we had you like you were turning it up and adjusting and, 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 and I think you went to like five or something. I think it was only four or five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was And it was glorious. I mean the, the difference in it was cranking. It definitely does change. You gotta the tone. do that next time Randy comes over, broadcast oh, or not. You gotta you gotta turn it up like you gotta that. crank it. So Maybe I'll do like Marty fifty one fifty does and I'll do uh, outside. A, a stack on the the deck <laughs> or wet dry oh, yeah, wet yeah, yeah. <laughs> wet dry wet from the deck you know right. on 10 something I'd like drive that. on to say maybe put it on the back of a flatbed bed, bed, bed truck and then show up at a concert to- there you go <laughs> there you go <laughs> speaking of which did you see that dirty rotten no good ought to be thrown out of the youtube caleb went and ripped off your summer nights <laughs> <laughs> He did a he did a good job at it. He did a fantastic he job. No, yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking about. He did uh, he did pretty good on that. He called me out for giving a shameless plug for the show, but he said you should have at least tagged Ryan. I sent to him. He uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody was asking about how the trans trim works. He's like getting it just a detuner or something, but for all the strings. And I was like, no, not at all. It's a transposing tremolo mm-hmm. system. Mm-hmm. And I was like, check out the OU812 YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Ryan has two, blah, 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 blah. And plenty right. of videos and clips, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Right. And Caleb replied back. He's like, yeah, what he said. Nice shameless plug or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, there's no shame in my game, There sir. is no shame. There is no shame. We'll take everything we can get. Let's see. Let me catch up here. Have you seen my Les Paul, Quentin? Have you seen my Les Paul, Quentin? Re- re- requesting isolation. Quentin, have you seen my Les Paul? Look at that beauty, man. Oh, that yeah. Thing is awesome, nice. man. Oh, oh, yeah. So cool. Oh, and by Let's the see. way, it's a Gibson, not an Epiphone. It is a Gibson. <laughs> Let's Continue. see. I, I got to read this this chat. It says, uh, oh, you went with two. You do have the best sound. Not that the other guy's sounds are bad. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. He does have a great sound. Lars I guitars. It. I made a preset with a stealth amp and cab with stereo delay with pitch detune stereo sounds like that later VH sound. Very right cool. on. I think it's it's just it, it's a great sound. I mean, it just fills in the mix, you know, and just yeah. and, it, and it just sits perfect in a mix. I think. 
Let's see. Ed is asking uh, at Wall Cries. That's uh, their version of a later Ed, Ed tone. <laughs> That's uh, three Sounds, Sounds a little thin. Yeah. Never heard of it, Rob. Hughes and Kettner. Mm-mm. Bryce says that is not an Epiphone. And Ed, I paid the electric bill uh, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen wants me to crank the, the amp and knock the house down. Hey, we got Ben Coombs in the chat. Welcome in, hey, sir. What's up, buddy? If John would stop playing, so I can... <laughs> We got the uh, channel member Jeff H is here as well. Right on. And hey there, rock stars. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Hey, Jeff. Let's what's see. Up, Jeff? Anybody else that I've missed? We did catch Wall of Cries, and I think we are we're caught up with everybody. <laughs> so uh yeah, let's Good let's guy. do a little jam with something. Um Let's see. Let me get over here to find it. Go over there. That's not a it. Little a little over here. Do a little bit of that. Give me a moment, and I'm going to change guitars, and we'll be ready to go. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so, John, you can now play to your heart's content. I don't know. I'm that that frog now. We're dropping the uh, Paul off tomorrow for uh, its pickup transplant. Oh, mm. cool. So this will be the last time we get to hear it as it is. Right. Uh, I may not have it back by Sunday, but this will be the last time we hear it with the stock 60s burst buckers, especially right. this this bridge one that's microphonic. Give us a rip around the block. Okay. okay. Microphone. <laughs> All right, I, I, I made an impression, so we'll hang on to that. Right. Didn't sound bad. Didn't sound bad. All right. Are we ready to go? You want to you jam out on something? Let me get my levels set here. You know which one I'd like to start with. Well, the guitar switching behavior kind of gave it that away. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it.
Hey, man, I was there with you when you returned that. No, oh, no, wait. no. That, oh, that, wait. That was the Epiphone version. Your headstock right? says the same thing mine does. It does. You're doing it the does, same fucking does. thing as you are with the modelers. You start at the cheap shit, and then you finally get to the good stuff. Right. <laughs> finally learn my lessons. Like, ah, oh, just go get the good stuff. Yep. That's pretty good, man. So, you know, I couldn't let you have all the fun with your surprise reveal the other day. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to show him. I'll show His him. His surprise reveal was in response to your fucking surprise reveal. Exactly. Black fucking cocksucker. So now it's encouragement for, so, you but know, this the, is good for me. the curmudgeon well on the couch. The, the, there's enough Les Paul's been bought to go all the way around, so I don't have to buy one now. Not bullshit. You know, I I did figure though that my, <laughs> my I, I I continually have increased my chances of a headstock breaking with having multiple Absolutely. ones. Yeah, matter but, of time now. No, I think if they're taking speaking. if they're taken care of, I'll be just fine. Yep. So that Still was fun. Go to tune, but that's okay. That was fun. You know, I think you have officially enough less pauls now. You can have a less Paul section. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Les Paul section, Wolfgang section. Yeah. Think about yeah. that when you put your hangers on the wall. That'd look pretty cool, man. Right. 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 Yeah. So you know, I have said on the show that for a long time I was searching for a Les Paul and can never find one. <laughs> that I liked. Boom! 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 And it's just like boom, boom. All right. I'll be, like I'll be three right in a row. Back. I, I gotta go take a look at something here. These are these guitars that I've the purchased. Murphy Lab that Ben played the other day. Yeah. He fell in love with the Les Paul too. It seems to be the year of the Les Paul. I'm just saying. Right. Well, I think it's when you find one and yeah. it's and it's got that that mojo to it. It's just like hey, I gotta have that. You know, that's what happened with this one. Um, the other ones, you know, uh, Claudia found that one. It's like oh, and uh, then I found the custom. Yeah. You know, the one that Randy played, and it was just like oh, gotta have that. And I was not even. You know, looking for this one, I saw it hanging on the the wall when I when I went to check out the the HX stomp, and I said, "Let me see that thing." So, took it down and just hit the first chord, and I was like, "Oh no, not another one!" <laughs> so, it's like just bam, bam, bam. I've been finding these Les Pauls that are just like sweet, right? And uh, just, I mean, hell, I bought this one fully expecting to send it back, right? So do you now fully expect to keep it? Oh, yeah. I'm putting pickups pick up in it. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I must have missed that. Part. Pick up, like pickups for a lot of people are a deal breaker. Pickups for me are nowhere close to a deal breaker because there's a million options out there. This show with a time so, stamp, the way that guitar sounds now. Right. It, it probably is not going to sound too much different. Because, like I said, I'm not I'm not going out of the realm of what I'm really waiting for is for you to get your cabs and your mics and your heads and stuff set up right. in the proper room. All Soon. that good stuff. Soon. Thanks, Alonzo. Appreciate that. Thank you, Edwin. Appreciate that. Always nice to hear the the compliments. Oh, we got exterior bills here. Welcome in, yes, so. dude. Chips, hey, huh? Yeah. Nope. Let's see. Let's see. Da, da, da. Only if you're Quentin James and it's a Chipson. Exactly. Bo says, uh, hear that, Ben? When you find one, you must act. You just got to <laughs> jump on it. Jump on it and grab it. See, Jimmy says, I got a Dean Soltero today to stick to my It's Not a Les Paul snobbery. <laughs> All good, man. If it sounds good, it is good. Those are pretty cool guitars, those Dean Salteros, anyway. So, a lot of them have really good looking tops. I don't know that I've ever seen one. It's Gibson's Les Paul shaped mm -hmm. object. I know they do a lot of them with 24 frets. Let's see. So, shall we, uh, shall we take a closer look at this one? What do we got here? So, everyone, well, maybe not everyone knows, but I tried out the Adam Jones Les Paul Epiphone version that had the Gibson headstock on it. And, uh, you know, it was cool, but it just uh, it wasn't up to my my guitar snobbery standards. It just didn't fit in the guitar arsenal. So, yeah, when I saw this one at Guitar Center, 
I just uh, I said, let me try that thing because I love an ebony fretboard. I really, really love an ebony fretboard. Nice and dark. So they pulled it down. He handed it to me, and I was like, wow, that, that's a great weight. I think it's it's the lightest one that I've got. Probably comes in at eight and a half pounds, maybe a little bit more. Um, probably got some weight relief on it, I'm sure. I think most of them do now. But uh, ebony board, it does not have the bound headstock like the customs do. This is just a, a Les Paul USA Adam Jones version. I'll be changing out this to the plain one. Uh, but it's got the... It's the Adam Jones standard, correct? Yes. Yeah. So it's got the little volute there. And then it's got his his artwork right there, which I don't really care about. But um, nice, thin, 60-style neck on it. Uh, I think it's a burst bucker in the neck. And they call this a uh, DC high-gain uh, pickup. It's they don't call it anything... It's just called a high gain DC pickup. It should be a clone of a Duncan Distortion. It's uh, I've heard the Gibson 500T, the Duncan Distortion, um, yeah, all that stuff. But um, it was really, really crass when I got it. Real, I don't know, tingy. And I noticed that it came from the factory with the pickup almost touching the strings. So I backed that down. And she came right in, but I've always wanted I've always wanted a silver burst as well. Mm-hmm. You know the the first guitar that uh, I, that I wanted was the black. To it than the last one for sure. Yeah, I've always wanted a black custom, so I got that one. Always liked the silver burst, so found this one, played it, it was great, so I grabbed it. Now I will say, the Friedman Cali that I got mm-hmm. uh, just was not bonding with it. So it did. It did go back today. What what store is it at? It is at the Kennesaw location. Damn! So. Now I gotta drive to Kennesaw. You did you want that guitar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta I might go pick it up after work Saturday. Well, there you go. I'm sure it'll be there. They may even discount it a little bit further. So here is a uh, a trick that I learned at Guitar Center, which a lot of people may know. Um, and I may have known it a long time ago, but I um, I had a, what was it, a Zoom mixer that I used to use over on that computer. I didn't need the thing anymore. So I brought it in, and I said, just give me what you'll give me for this as a trade. He goes, oh, okay. He says, now to give you 10% off the guitar. It's a new guitar, so you get 10% off. I'm like, oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> so if you got like a little dinky pedal or just anything that you want to trade in, you know, awesome. you get ten percent off of a new purchase. Doesn't matter a what it is that you trade. There you go. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is uh, is pretty cool. And what's really really nice about it is that I have the three different Les Pauls have three different voicings to them. <laughs> uh, they all feel great, but they all sound just a little bit different, which is perfect. So this one is my. Um, D standard or drop C guitar. Uh, the custom will be an E flat guitar, and then Claudia will be E standard. So Perfect. I've got the tunings covered over the Les Pauls. So there we go. Sweet. Right on. And I just I just had to to show Randy up a little bit. <laughs> See, that's bad because I'm the. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's I gotta, gonna be happy to find right. shows up I, with the Friedman because we've already seen it. <laughs> what was that again, Trev? It's going to be anticlimactic when he shows up with the Friedman because we've already seen that. Mm. I don't know. Gotcha. You never know. They may have something else that catches my eye. Who knows? Right? I doubt it. But all of a sudden, you're looking no. for another guitar. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> Hope the brakes are there. I'm always looking for another guitar. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. Love, this show's love, bad for your bank account, Randy. I love Randy. being a bad influence. No, well, Ryan doesn't have to be the bad influence. I have enough bad influences on me with buying guitars. It's he just adds to the mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes it easier to justify. Right. Nothing wrong with that. So John, you want to jam out a little bit? What uh yeah, you got something you wanna jam to? 
I got a whole bunch of new stuff too that none of us have played to. I mean, yeah, but we can do that. Do if you want? want to, you want to try to stumble to stumble through one or two of them? Yeah, Randy. Yeah, you into it? Let's do it. Right on. Just give us a key. I, I think that I have labeled them now with what key that they're in. <laughs> uh, let's see. This e this says rock, e this says yeah. this is uh, C minor. So yeah. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'll let Randy start it off. All right, drag him over. The volume will come up on it too. Uh-huh. Sorry. 
I guess the cool. audience didn't like that because <laughs> we, we lost <laughs> like 30 viewers when we started playing that one. So it was Sorry. interesting. Sorry. I liked that one. I did. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Different. You know, first round, yeah. Different, new, fresh. All the important people are still here. Yeah, of course. And Thanks. we picked up uh, Cushman NYC is here. Welcome in. Sure, What's up, man? Kush? Yeah, that one took a second to get in the groove with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it didn't. I set the groove and then you guys followed. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Mitch says, can other occupants of your house hear your amps? Um, yeah, they can hear it, uh, you know, but it's not disturbing. Dude, they can, it, they can it, sit up there and watch TV. Dude, it is really not that loud in that room. Mm -mm. It Brett sounds said, massive, uh, but it's not that loud. No, I said use all the frets. Every one of them. <clears throat> when John's oh. playing through the Friedman, you can hear him outside. Yeah. Right. Well, he he keeps it cranked too. It's not still cranked, hear only dude, the real it's ones. Not even staying. on two. <laughs> but, but it's still loud. Well, uh, compared to mine, that's double the volume, so that's cranked. That's true. <laughs> CMBR says sounds good. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you. But we've clawed back a couple more now. Yeah. We stopped, <laughs> stopped playing, playing and, and it start starts chatting. going up. Yep. Did that the last time too. It was like 65 and it went to 55. So I guess that means we just don't need to play. We just need to come on here and talk. The, bathroom, turn off phone, so the whole concept the of the show is in the fucking shitter then. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yep. Oh, well. Oh, you're, oh, well. you're watching the show on your phone while you're in the shitter. It's not a problem. Uh, let's see. Just don't join the stream. Guitar Breakdown. Looks like a new name to the channel. Welcome oh, in. Good. Says, is that a white EVH made in Japan or USA? Oh, that's USA. It is a USA signature. And how yeah. does it play sound, guys? All right. You can yes, attest. Please. I, you know, no, number two, that. number two behind Claudia. Having the, having played it, it's pretty fucking <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's probably. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Probably my best second second best sounding guitar. And it plays fantastic. It feels yep. great. And it looks it looks great. Yep. yep. Feels great. Plays great. Tastes great. Smells yep. great. It's this is all around a, a great one. How much does that thing weigh? Um, you know what? <clears throat> it's pretty light. I keep yeah. trying to remember to bring my scale the scale. Home. Yeah. Yep. And we're gonna we're gonna go live one night. Just and we're just gonna weigh guitars. Everybody <laughs> document it. We're gonna see how much all these guitars weighs. And then we'll compare how everybody thinks that they sound. You're gonna have to you make know, so you're going to do it pounds or kilos? Red sheet. You could do it in both if you wanted. We do it in mm -hmm. bald eagles around here, sir. Right. We do it in stones. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch says we mail it out on that jam. Sounded great. Thank you. We got channel member Al's G is here. Welcome What's in. Up, dude? Good to see you. Al's G. Let's see. I want to uh, thank and welcome all the new faces that we see tonight. Yeah. We uh, ask that you please give a thumbs up on your way out the door, or give a if you give a thumbs down, just make sure it hit it twice. And throw down a comment. Tell us what you thought of the show. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. You guys suck. Hey, that generates some of the algorithms. So just let us know how bad we suck. Right. You say it enough, we'll put it in our hashtag. And mm -hmm. make sure if, if you hit the thumbs down, you, you, you double tap. Right. Just do it twice. Make sure that it counts. Ryan, you've played a uh, one of the newer Made in Japan Wolfgangs, haven't you? I did. Um, it's a good guitar, but it, it's it's nowhere near a USA. Um, you know, it's USA versions almost double the price. Yep. But um, I think for the money that you would spend on that, you would be better off finding a really really good special. Um, you know, like my purple one. Purple here. That that purple one, I was more impressed with it than the Made in Japan one that I played. Um, I don't know, and and every guitar is different, you know. Mm -hmm. Every one is different, so it just uh, it, that one just was not for me. The one that I played. Let's see. Alonzo says you guys should play a chunky backing track next. It's right. Alonzo every time. So like, yeah, heavier stuff. Yep. Yeah, 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 more heavy. So Column Music says, here. I'm here for the jams. Right on. Right on, Nepal. Hell bar jams hey, sound fine. Nepal, you should come and join the jam on a Sunday afternoon. Or 
Who, who are you talking to? He's, he's near you, so it's Sunday evening. <laughs> <laughs> do, do some jazz. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah. Sunday. Send, send an email to the, <clears throat> to the description. Guitar Breakdown says, I forgot the hello, guys. LOL. Wow, that's high praise on the White Wolf Gang. I was going to look into the Made in Japan. You may find that uh, you get a Made in Japan one and it you know, maybe the best guitar you've ever had. Knock your socks off. You, you, have a, you have a black one, right? Which is the same thing, just in black, yeah? I have one of the early USA Stealth versions. Yep. It's, it's not the signature. But it's but it, completely sound, it sounds completely different. Yep. It feels fantastic, and it plays fantastic. It just has a different sound to it. You know, it's got a little darker, <laughs> darker tone to it. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, good. Okay. Has the headstock on Randy Price's Les Paul fallen off yet? Nope. <laughs> there. No, he's got he's, some he's got that on tuner it. clip to it to brace it up. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know, John, that this one has the uh, the volute on it, so <clears throat> that'll help to uh, strengthen this one up a little bit. Can you see it there? Yeah, yeah, I saw it when you right yeah, there. I can see yeah. it right there. With yeah. your... So that'll help strengthen it up a little. So when it does snap, it'll be absolutely catastrophic. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be. <laughs> It'll just be phenomenal. down a whole step yeah no that's I'm, junky i'm down to d and then drop c yeah, yeah. and it stays in tune so no complaints there no nope, that's good John, you didn't get the memo that Drop C is the new official tuning of the show? Well, I was watching you guys play that, the one we just played. And was, the fucking guys are in D. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trying to see where our fingers are. Say, yeah, that doesn't work over here. Yeah. Well, you said well, C, but you're playing in D. <clears throat> Anyways. Was I? No, I was playing in, in C. Playing in the D position if you're in standard tuning. If it was in st okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got what you're saying. All right, so something chunky. <clears throat> Josh says drop C is what I was sitting here playing in. I'm kind of chunky. So am I. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's the may I help you riff. <laughs> <laughs> You can definitely get some squealies on it. As I say it and can't. <laughs> All right, what do we got that's chunky? Let me see. Uh, like I said, I got a whole new bunch of stuff here, so let me scroll through and see what I got. Um, I don't know. That says Epic A Minor. Let's see. <laughs> There you go, Jimmy. That doesn't sound too epic. Uh, let's see. 
doesn't sound too chunky either. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so what is that? What is that? What Neither is that? epic or chunky. That's not a, uh, that was no, 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 no. Let's see. No, 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 no. Trying to find where I got all this new stuff. I had to clean out a whole bunch of stuff on here. All right. What does this say? This is intense C minor. And then I have one called metal C minor. Wild. Let's try metal C minor. D minor. Metal C minor. Yes, Trev perked up on that one. Hey, okay. Metal? All right. Did somebody say metal? Let's see what it sounds like. I may have to check the level on it. Too. That's looking pretty good.
wasn't too bad for the first time hearing that, right? <laughs> no, I can get on with that. I like that. Yeah, that one was got pretty a work cool. Call. Hang on. If we're going to do right. that with more people, we're going to need to extend that by. Yeah, I'd have to double it up. It's it's kind of nice to have a little, just a little shorter, you know, break one there. Yeah, you know, absolutely. jam out for a bit. I thought that was sounding pretty good. Yeah. All right, we got was... some. Uh, we got a bunch of people leaving, but we got a few new ones filing in. Let's see. We had uh, right Steve Brand, channel member, has dropped in. He said, "What did I miss so far? Everything, man. Everything." Ryan gotta spent go... more money. <laughs> Let's see. Guitar Man 45, I like the Les Pauls. Ordered a Murphy yesterday. Right Hell on, yeah, man. Bo. Right on. Let's see. Gitter 1952. Gary, I've been lurking while I work here. Channel member, GTR 1952. Everyone, everything sounds great tonight. Right on, man. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Steve Brand says, did OU812 get himself a real Adam Jones? I did, yeah. sir. I did, sir. There you go. It is the Les Paul standard Adam Jones, I guess you would call it. So, there you have it. It's got the uh, little artwork there on the back, if you can see it. Yeah, kind of can see it. And who the hell doesn't like a silver burst? I know, right? Yeah, I mean, that's. Well, I, I could care less if this was an Adam Jones or whatever. I just like the. the, the is, silver burst. Never mind. I know you somebody that don't like a silver burst. When it's now, properly hurt. done like that, that that's great. But remember, we looked at that wolf yes. thing or something. Yes, oh, it just fuck. looked awful. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that you don't normally see on a Gibson Les Paul standard is the ebony board. Yeah. That's so cool. that's one of the main reasons that I was attracted to this particular guitar is because his custom has an ebony board. So this is based off of that. So it has an ebony board. So... That's like awesome. I said, I, I could really care less if it was Adam Jones model or not. I just like the guitar. So, right. You know. You know, I've been thinking, too, if I'm going to give this guitar a while to see if this rosewood darkens up. And if it doesn't, I'm probably going to dye it darker. You know, dye it up a little bit. Yeah. Not ebony I can't dark, say, but. Can't say that I can blame you. Let's see. What else is going on? Josh dug that track. Right on. Sweet. Yeah. It was pretty chunky. Martian Murray is here. Welcome in. Good yeah. to see you. Saying evening, gents. Good to see you. Let's see. Anybody else filing in? Second wave. We're getting the, the next wave of... Uh... CMBR says, I finally understand the attraction to Les Pauls. It took my first Chipson last year for me to get it. They are awesome guitars. I get it you now, know, too. I'm, I was the same. You know, I was always... Nope. You know, Eddie always played a, a Super Strat with a Floyd on it. That's all I ever want. And, you know, why would you want a Gibson Les Paul? You know, you can't get access. Of, but they've got this, you know, this punchy rock tone to it, this creamy, smooth, you know, woody tone to them. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Between you and Ben Coombs, you've started a Les Paul revolution, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, I totally get that. I mean, shit, I've been playing guitar since for like 26 years now, and this is the first Les Paul I've ever bought. So. And you're liking nice. it, right? Yeah. Elbar J says, I had the silver burst on the bat inlay PRS Paul Allard, whomever that was. Uh, What's his name? The dude from Cradle of Filth. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, whoever they are. They're like an extreme, <laughs> like, black metal. That would be why I don't. Know. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Paul Marsh Allender, that's his name. Allender. Martian Murray wants a silver burst just because it's the Spurs colors. <laughs> there you go. Let's Pretty see. Murphy good. bit me in Ben's video. Dang it. Let's see. You know, the, all the Murphy Lab stuff is usually at least $1,000 over, you know, the custom shop right. stuff. Yeah. Just, just for the light relic. So, okay. You have your standard Gibson line, which includes Les Paul standards, juniors, and customs, right? Uh, no. Basically. Kind of, well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's custom shop. Exactly. Which is, yep. And then that's and Murphy any, Lab. any, any, and then Murphy's above that. Mm -hmm. Well, Murphy, I think, takes <laughs> the stuff that would be built in the custom shop and just takes it further. Yeah. And goes through yeah. it. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be something else, eh? But they're all, it's just all relic stuff, though, right? Mostly of them, yeah. 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 That's the thing. 
Most of them. They make but a couple. Are you are you paying for the relic or are you paying for You're paying for the relic. Yeah. You can buy the same guitar without the Murphy Lab treatment. Well, I um, guess there's a bit of fit and finish to it too though. Well, I th- my I experience know. with a guitar from the custom shop is that it was freaking phenomenal. You know. Yeah. So well, isn't that Claudia? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's as far as I would go is yeah. Claudia. Josh says to use the Murphys to darken the board. It works great. Mm-hmm. I won't do it. I'll have my guy Willie do it. But <laughs> so Gary Webb is here. Looks like a new face. Welcome in. Right if, you, if you've been here before and I didn't notice, then I'm sorry, but welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you uh, enjoy the show and come back many, many times. It says you guys caught my damn iPad on fire. Nice. Nice. Plan, Phyllis. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Marshall Murray, I want that modern light Les Paul. My back doesn't like heavy. Hmm. Right on. Let's see. Mitch says, I have the dreaded by a lot of YouTubers. Blueberry Burst Standard Gibson Les Paul, but I like it. I like the color on that. I probably uh, prefer that on like a ES335 or something, but I think it looks pretty cool on Les Paul. Yeah. Bo says, I ordered the Firebird as well in six weeks. I think we'll order the ES175. Nice. Collection. Yep. Bo, Bo needs several more guitars for well, sure. If you want so a tour in the case of Bo, he's, he's the guest on Sunday this week. Oh, right on. You know. Murphy well, he's got Murphy the fiber Lab. now, so his internet's a lot better than you're probably accustomed to. Mm-hmm. Well, you should come on and jam, Bo, if you've yeah. got the fiber. For sure. Quentin James says Murphy Lab, me. What's you the know, Qu- what's Quint- the Quentin James lab? You get like his birds to peck on the finish and you get it back smelling like Virginia Slims? <laughs> it's the Quentin James myth. Cigarette stink <laughs> fretboard. <laughs> right. <laughs> Quentin is a huge fan of relic guitars, as we all know. Yeah, they definitely do their thing with them in the Murphy Lab. Let's see. Hey. Gary says Wildwood is a good place to window shop. It's the mojo. Yeah, they get the um, the dealer select where they get to pick pick their tops and all that stuff for like the standard lines, kind of like Z Zounds did with these quilts. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that Greg Cock guy, he does uh, does a lot of their demos. At yeah, Wild, Wildwood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Some nice guitars there. The top that dude's drop tops. That guy's a monster. He's a that great dude's, player. That dude is like an insane slide player too. Mm. Quentin says a uh, twenty five hundred to three thousand dollar guitar should be flawless. <laughs> Go back. To I the agree 60s, with that, man. <laughs> <laughs> As best can be expected, I guess. With that said, I kind of expected to see a Jackson tonight. No, 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 that was just a, Hey, look, look what I saw. Do you know any history about that uh, particular model, Randy? That Telecaster shape thing that I posted. Other than it being a custom shop. No. Um, I mean, Jack Jackson did like Kramer did in the eighties and had some Telecaster bodied guitars charvel did as well charvel actually made some pretty good telecasters they're all i mean they had the tele headstock and everything but they would be you know a humbucker and a floyd or a humbucker and a kaler or <laughs> mm-hmm. you know Trans-tram. what charvel did in the 80s um willie you know my tech he worked at charvel from 83 to 90 yeah, yeah, and that. the guitar he uh got rid of and wished he never did was a telly that he actually built had a pointy headstock Kaler, two humbuckers it was like a deep like a blood red mm-hmm. he sold he sold it at a guitar show in texas i guess sometime in the late 90s and has been looking for it ever since <laughs> dude i would play the shit out of that i'm not even yeah. gonna lie yeah yeah that's a pretty good guitar it's got active pickups in it looks like yep. uh it's a floating like- floating floyd looks like yeah, Jackson and pointy. I dig it. I dig, I dig it. it too. You know, and the 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 silver burst kind of works on it. Yeah, it does. nice drop. Yeah, yeah. No, it does. Yeah, they've got it fucking lined up properly. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. 
That's a good so. looking guitar. I, I'm not a big fan of the shark tooth and the pointy headstock. Right. Mm -hmm. Body's body's nice. Cool. Get back to there. All right. What else going on in the chat? Steve says that's a Charvel Model Seven. I would know nothing about them. Yeah, the model series were there when Charvel Jackson was sold off by Grover. The Charvels were their import guitars. They were all made in Japan, and the Jackson was the USA stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, boo hoo! So, a guitar made in Japan. Right, right. So all your all the the model series guitars were the different Japanese production Charvels for U.S. sale. And then gotcha. Japan, Japan, of course, being Japan, they got some pretty cool models that weren't available here. Very cool. Let's see. Shall we do another one? Yep. Marvel. Let's see. We yep. did the metal. See if we can get it, get down below, below 30 here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just keep driving people away. Uh, this looks like it says D minor. So I would, I have no idea where to play that. But I'll figure in it out. In the standard E position. <laughs> hey, hey now.
good one. I enjoyed that. Track. Yeah, that was different. Different. Really cool. He came Mike's, in on a harmony. <laughs> right. <laughs> the old standard harmony. Like I said, that was the first time we've heard it played to it. So yeah, you know, it's good. It it's is cool track. It is. I like that one. I think there's going to be a lot more to come. Let's put a uh, star beside that one. The key of evil. Yeah. Evil. <laughs> uh, let's see. Elbar J says it's chromatic going down from D minor. That would work. Um, this is not bad. Are we going to go bad. for a bit here? I got to make a work call. Steve says, how much longer are you guys going tonight? Got room for one more? I, you know, we can keep going for a little while. Wait, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll yeah I'm keep... good. I got to make a work call, guys. I'll be yep. All right. right yeah, yeah. Let's see. That's code for um, number two. That too, me, but no, see no, I do have to make a work call. I'll take a shit though too. Mr. Just Brand. To I'll take a picture and send it to you. <laughs> Let me get a link for Mr. Brand. Have him jump in here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Go there. Right. Copy. Let's see. All right, Steve, you got email incoming. You should have that link there. Uh, while John's away, let's see if I can find something else here that's, uh, let's see. Did I do this one? It says it's a C minor.
busy vaping. <laughs> Ended on the R5. Yeah. Got a good one for R3. Was anyway, yeah, it was okay. It was okay. A little different. A little different. Um, I don't find any of these all that different, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I mean, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little different feel to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. You got to kind of get into that groove. Slide that into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Quentin says, "I just caught what." Cholera. <laughs> cholera from Steve's fretboard. No, he won't get cholera off of this. Ricketts, maybe, but not cholera. <laughs> Shingles. A little E. coli or something. Yeah, it's fine. Leprosy. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look this way if it didn't want it to be, like, you know. <laughs> well, welcome in, Steve. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for that. That was another deep end experience. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll just <laughs> throw you right in. You're welcome. It's lovely. You did it's well, the same. Did it's well. actually. Like, all right, let's throw Steve in. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. It's like a wedding. It's the yeah, same for all of us because I I don't think any of us outside of Ryan has heard these tunes. Yeah, no. I, and I honestly haven't really heard them. I just yeah, kind of set set the levels them. on them. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's see. Gretch is out of here. Off to a DOA show. All right, man. Oh, man. Thanks for joining. Thanks for jumping in. Doctors on acid. Dead or alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what this is. Have we done this? What is this? Mm, a little slower, a little mellow. Curious. Okay. Says C minor. Yeah. You know, C C is the new E.
taking up the whole track. <laughs> Play it again. Nah, it's yeah, okay. It's good. It's good. That one needs to be doubled up. Right? Good one. Just kind of paste yeah. it to the end of itself and keep going. Mm -hmm. It's a nice yeah. one. Yeah, sound good. Sound good. The whole volume swell thing on these Les Paul pots is kind of weird. Yeah, not the greatest thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was waiting for Ryan to hit the fart smell sound. It's like when I, Steve does the piano or I do those weird nonsense things. Look, I just got a regular bloody cable in today, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I got any other. I was new watching stuff. that time when there was noise and somebody said, "Was it Steve?" And I wasn't even on. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I was just still, watching. I was, I was sitting in my you. living room and somebody accused me. It's All either right. you or Jimmy Biter. <laughs> <laughs> this is this or is, me. Is, I'm guilty of it. Yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Angry, angry D minor. Oh, wow! You've angered the minor.
Man, that was smoking last week. <laughs> I liked what I did. Yeah, that yeah. was great. Yeah, I didn't play a single wrong note. Jeff play says our, our band is playing a show that day. This will only be only the third time I perform as a guitarist and not the usual bass player. I've been with this band finally. Right. Awesome, awesome, man. Good for you, man. Yeah. yeah, playing for real people. That's uh, that's cool, man. Well, we're sort of doing that. We just can't see them. Yeah, but I mean, that's it. Get out and, and do yeah. That. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of fun. It is. Yeah. I hope it goes well you for you, Jeff. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, man. Yeah, I did a little playing out on Saturday night. It's good. Sweet. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh come on, it wasn't that bad. Jeff says, uh, but you guys get to play for naked people. Yeah. <laughs> well, you anyways. ever noticed that uh, Randy's camera never goes down above like, right. his top pickup? I, I've, I've wondered, wondered what's going on there. Yeah. Hmm. This, is a, this, this is a pant free environment, I think. Technically, I, I'm in the oh, There's pants. So. He's painted his legs black. <laughs> They're blue. Oh, all right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> black and blue. We would like Jeff to come back whenever he's not out getting paid to be a player, man. Yeah. Yep. Welcome back. Anytime. Kind of watching the chat here, see if there's anything. Going on. <laughs> feeling a bit of Randy. I was expecting you to say, "Are you feeling Randy, Randy?" Oh, no, I I already made the Randy joke earlier. Oh. After I said you had the feels. The feels. Oh, yeah. That's generally uh, code for my hands aren't working so well, so slow down. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Randy, whatever you were doing during that last one, that little galloping thing, that was right on. Oh, the... That uh, was good. The, Sounded good. Uh, Some, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It Sounded really good on. with that. Good stuff, man. Yo, yo. Something different from my normal... Five licks. What, what do they say? Whittly. What does Winter, Quentin say? Wankery. Willy Willy. Willy. Yeah. Willy, Willy. Alonzo wants to know our Instagram. Mine is uh, OU81 underscore two, just like it's spelled here, but with Mine's an unders, underscore two. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds Jeff of Play With Me by Extreme. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah I that's that. true. That's true. Yeah. Yep. Tim Leo picking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hmm. Well. What the fuck is Tim Leo picking? No well, that's what Randy did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I all just you need to know. It. Just exactly. going with it. Yeah, ask Randy. It's like when you guys get off on your deep Charvel or even, even Les Paul stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I give John three weeks he'll have less Paul I don't think so I'm more yeah. determined now than ever to get a, a well, that's, what, that's why I posted I'm gonna huh? I'm gonna get rid of mine they're, they're just everywhere they're so common yeah. now yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't touch one it doesn't matter right everybody's yeah. got one <laughs> yeah. this is mahogany this is mahogany, mahogany. the Scottish wood <laughs> Scottish yeah hog, hogmanay <laughs> <laughs> Pantsless Tim Leo yes. picking. I got his fucking pants on, dude. <laughs> I have long Cheerio. jumps on. Allegedly. So halfway there. For a $20 super chat, I'll take them off. <laughs> For another $20, 20 uh, you'll pull yeah. one ball out. I'll, <laughs> I'll do a $40 super chat just to make sure you don't. 
<laughs> well, I wouldn't let. They would have to take my word for it that I took them off. Oh, okay. Ah, sneaky. I never said I'd show you that I took them off. Ah. Bo says you need to get a Gretsch, John, a I Falcon. Think so had I one, think, uh, sold it. I didn't have a Falcon, but not N- your NOS, thing. NOS, NOS, early '60s Strat. I think. No, I told Charles seventy five in the uh, Gresh that I owned and sold, and he was just like, "Dude, what is wrong with you?" <laughs> I had a uh, nineteen fifty five oh, Cad- right. yeah, yeah. Cadillac mm-hmm. Green Country Club. <laughs> See ya. Well, nobody needs one of those, right? No. Nah. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it's not you, it's not you. No. She all just get fat body. Uh, Jazz guitars, flat wounds. I, th- I thought that was the end of the sentence. We're all just going to get fat bodied. I'm already well, there. Yeah. All of us are there yeah. except for yeah. Trev. So. Hot dogs. Here we go. Yeah, I think Trev keeps getting skinnier each show, too. What, yeah. what the heck are you doing, man? He's he's living in uh, Vancouver and Perth time. That's what's going on. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> he don't have time to eat. Randy, protected, follows you. What the hell? That's sick. Oh, Pro- projected. Who's Isn't that what I said? Projected? I thought you said protected. Oh, maybe. maybe I don't I know. Did. Neil Just Sean as... does too. I want Do a I Falcon. Follow that too. What? He Neil said Sean does. Yeah, Neil Sean follows me. Oh yeah, very nice. Does he like those? What color is it? Ones? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> he probably does. Yeah. He, he likes, ask you he for uh, the Tembolo. Does he ask you for bathroom mirror pics? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if you follow Neil Sean. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure if you uh, if you follow Neil Sean and like comment on his shit, then he'll follow you. So yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing he's probably, special. He's he's so old that he's probably got somebody doing that for him. Probably. Sitting on the couch all. No, it's her him. Shit. Give it's it her him. shit, and they see, they record it. And he says, "Put that up." <laughs> he's got. Uh, this. He's got to have. To. So if you get the uh, the Gretsch, you can play Stray Cat Strut. Says that's LRJ. Right. And Bo says that's why I'm thinking of getting the ES one seven five. So you can play Stray Cat. Surprised Bo doesn't have an ES one seventy five. He probably doesn't forgot. Just to scratch that, I thought Guitar Man was talking about a Falcon guitar. Not a Falcon guitar. Colette Cat. Looks like a new face. Welcome in. Says, good evening, OU812. Good evening. Good to see all these new faces. Appreciate LC sending everyone over. If that's where you came from, Colette. Nice to have you here. Is he live right now or no? I don't think so. I don't believe so. What time is it in Australia right now? It is uh, 1048 a.m., I would oh, think. No. I don't think he starts right, until yeah. 1 o'clock or something. <laughs> something like that. Welcome in. Good to see these new faces here. Absolutely. Well, we, uh, we're we about to wrap things up. What you guys want to do? Do a thunderous uh, exit with our customary track, or we haven't done any kind of summer nights or anything should yeah, you should probably should... close out with that and show Caleb how, how to do the changes and everything. <laughs> should actually have him come and guest and have you play that and then he can do the solo. I was thinking that. a banner yeah, he, of a job on that. He, can, thing, he can do the solo, yeah, because I haven't learned it properly. You know, I just kind of fake my way through it. Oh, <laughs> hell, all the work you put into learning the actual song with that thing, I mean, who needs a solo? Right. Well, see, he's he overdubs it. Um if you watch him live, he doesn't do the same solo no, live. No, it's totally improvised live. So on the album, it's overdubbed, and the solo is in standard tuning while the trans trim guitar is in the back doing all this crazy stuff. You know, mm-hmm. So I kind of compromise between the two and just kind of do my own thing. So Colette does say, I found you through LC. Right on, right on. Welcome He's in. A good dude. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been really supportive of our our channel and promoting promoting for us. So we appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and close things out. Uh, let me see. Get over here. Like that down. there. You're gonna go over find there, out of that. that, 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 that I've, I've, 
and it. adjusted levels here so hopefully everything is good and I um, my left hand is feeling a little stiff so apologies if I flub up and do some clams but this is live we don't care
Hey, and that'll yeah. close things out. Sounded awesome, buddy. Thank you, sir. Bad, Thank you, sir. Some people just come in. People just come in. You want to keep you guys keep going. I'll just yeah. go to bed, y'all. Close <laughs> right. Close the, the door and lock it when you're done. Yeah. I gotta put go. The, to... Put the cat out. Some of us aren't <laughs> in Pacific time. John, did you just say what I think you said? I said I gotta. Oh yeah, I said that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Randy's the the resident fart master around here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna close it down. Oh. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Steve, thanks for jumping in. Yeah, Randy, thanks for letting me in. That was good. Glad you got your power back. Yeah, me too. Trev, as always, All appreciate you. John, thanks for dropping in. And uh, we'll see everybody again on Sunday for the Sunday Community Jam. Or if you'd sooner. Like to, or maybe sooner. Who knows? Nobody. If you would like to jump in and play, you know, jam out to some of these backing tracks with us, you send know, me an email. Great. Email is in the video description for tonight. And just to request a spot, and we'll get you in here and jam. So, <laughs> Alonzo, never gets old. It doesn't. I could nope. play that song over and over and over again. I mean, it just. So and you cool. do, apparently, according to Caleb, who ripped you off. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no really ripping it off because, I mean, <laughs> wait, well. It has overtaken the original experience. Uh, we all, you know, we all have have ripped it off from the original from EVH. So I think I think we know where the inspiration came from. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like I, I gotta I gotta do this kind of thing. You mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's all right. That's all right. It's good. You're inspiring yeah. people yeah. to play. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like I'm inspiring him to go get him a damn trans trim guitar too. Could you imagine him with a trans trim? Jesus he'd be, Christ. He'd be dangerous. Yeah, he would be yeah. head hunting nuts for sure, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Colette. And welcome in again. Glad to see you. Hope you come yeah, back. That's awesome. Uh, we do this on schedule regularly on uh, Thursdays at 8 Eastern. And then on Sundays, 5 o'clock Eastern time. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to come back and join us, just jump on in. So that's going to close it up. We're going to say goodnight to everyone. And until next time. Uh, we will see you. Bye. Van Halen here, telling you, keep playing, man. Gotta keep playing. It's the only thing there is. Music, man. Keep playing. All right? I'm gonna come looking for you if you don't. Fuck face. First, take a big step back and literally f
<laughs> Here in Kentucky, we call those handles. Because you hold on to them and you're like, <laughs>